Hey guys, welcome back to Set Streets and Eats. I'm Chris Bauer. Ah! Seatboat caught in the door. I'm in Modesto, California today. I'm going to check out Chuck E. Cheese's two stage setup that they still have here, and I hope you'll join me. Let's go! So behind me, they classify this as a two stage, but technically it is a one stage. Um, there is no little cutout uh, where the, well, I guess it'd be over here where the TV is. Um, you would think it would have the little cutout there and then Chucky would be on his own thing, but it's technically a two stage because of the, very, the setup with the TV between Chucky and the band. Um, they, from just the first sight, they look like they're in pretty good shape. Uh, you can definitely see limited mobility in arms, especially. Uh, Helen's face, like everything works really good on her when she's singing. Chucky's just kind of moving in little short motions. And Pasquale doesn't touch his drums, but that's okay though. He's still putting in a good show. They have an assortment of the art around the store. They've even got all those postcards I love from the early 2000s. Family! Hooray from Hollywood. Hello from Big City. It's funny, if you're not looking at that big city, you would just assume it's New York, but the fact that they took basically a building from every big city, or at least a dozen big cities, and put them into one photo, I mean, it accomplishes what they set out to do. Art, Statue of Liberty, Sears Tower, Empire State Building, all in the same spot. What a town. So here we have yet another fiery swirl with white stars. Showbiz Wiki, you and your one of a kind drum for the CU1 stage. No, that has been in multiple places. But you know, I think the count is now four of these that I've seen so far when you said there was one. Unfortunately, the stage doesn't have any kind of a wink up top long since been gone or never had it at all um, again I'm not sure how the selected or how that is decided on which ones get what um, Jasper sitting on his speaker on this one the subwoofer because he's a pooch and he likes to wolf that's all the cross that's all I got Chuck, how's it going, buddy? Let's see what we got here. Well, aside from having a few odds and end problems, it looks like just with mobility, especially body-wise. Um, yeah, the stage seems to be in working order. Every time a song comes on, they all get into it. Lights are going. Clearly, animatronics at play here. So yeah, if you're looking to stage here in Modesto, California, you gotta come see it. Not sure if this is a corporate store or franchise store. If anybody knows how I can tell that or has a link to like a list of the franchise stores, hit me up in the comments. Um, I'd sure like to know which of these stores of the franchises are going to keep their animatronics since I know several of them have decided to. 
Um, it'd be nice to know after the end of next year which Chuck E. Cheese locations will still have animatronics to go visit. Of all the Chuck E. Cheeses I've been in, this is the first time I've seen this, and what a brilliant ride for a place with a mouse as a mascot, a hamster wheel. How brilliant is that? Of course it promotes running. You're in a hamster wheel, which is what they would run on. That's awesome. Chucky's Marathon Runner. I take it back, Chunk's in pretty good shape. I think he was just making the different motions before because it was Helen's solo on the song. But uh, he's in good shape. Munch is in great shape, man. His mouth movements are real tight. His organs all lit up. Moves with the music. Chucky's light star behind him is uh, working great. It's a good looking two stage, y'all. We ought to come check it out. Alrighty, I'm out of here. Glad I got to stop by and see this. And uh, definitely recommend coming by. We'll see you guys later, or at least I hope so. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you at the next one. Bye now.